This video provides a quick overview of Google hacking, also known as passive intelligence gathering or passive recon. So we'll discuss what it is, how to manually do it. We'll go over the Google hacking database, which helps sort of automate some of this. And then we will finally discuss a cheat sheet, which goes over some of the Google hacking operators or the operators you will use in your searches. So first off, what is Google hacking? With Google hacking, we're not actually hacking into Google. We're using specific search criteria known as operators to generate a result that serves our purpose or our intent to gather intelligence from a target. So how do we manually do it? So let's say our target is the US military, and this is just an example. There are many ways you can do this, but we're gonna use operators instead of like a normal string query. Most people, when they use Google, they use, they use a string query. So for instance, if I wanna, wanna find a little bub calendar, I would type in little bub calendar, hit enter, and I get some results here. There's the calendar right there. That is a normal string query. That's how most people use Google. So let's say we want to get a little more sophisticated, and this is the manual way of doing it. We could type in, let's say, uh, I want to look for file types that are PDFs. So I could type file type PDF. I want to look for files that are on PDFs that are on military sites, so .mil, and I want to look for the, the phrase top secret in the document. <clears throat> so what this will do, it will search Google's database for all the fi files that, that match an extension of .pdf that are on .mil or military sites that have the phrase top secret in them. So I click on Google search, and you notice it just searches for that. And now we see a bunch of PDFs here. They all say PDF, they're on .mil. This one is on mciest.marines.mil. It is a PDF, it says NATO security briefing. It has the phrase right here, top secret in the content. So they click on that, it should open that up. And we do a control F, we could search for top secret. And we see there's top secret right there. Hopefully none of these documents I just pulled up are actually top secret. This one's not. It looks like it's just a um, briefing on how to do classifications. But this is the general idea. There's unlimited possibilities of how to do these types of searches or queries with Google uh, with these operators. So this is just one example. So what I just typed in here could be added to the Google Hacking Database. The Google Hacking Database, if you go to exploit-db.com, I, I will put this link beneath the video, and you click on GHDB, the Google Hacking Database is basically a database full of specific queries that generate useful information for an attacker. So like this query right here, if I wanted to, I could add that to the Google Hacking Database. It's also set up where you can do a filter. So for instance, I just clicked on filter. It brings up category. You can search for what type of information you're looking for. Let's say files containing passwords. So it should restrict it to files containing passwords. And then I can look for uh, DB pass, which is one of the ones I like to look for. Here are the searches which are just like the one I manually typed in. And here's who authored it. So for instance, if we click on one of these, this is the actual search we're going to do. We're gonna look for in the URL itself for wp-config, in the text for wp-config, and db underscore password. So if I click on this, it will search for that specific criteria. And you see it just populates it right here just like I did over there on the top secret one. So this is looking for, in the URL, wp-config right there, 
in the text wp-config with db password. So here, for instance, is a database password right there in a database user. So we click on that. We have wp-config and we have the database password and database user up here. So it's just a, a, an example of what you can do with the Google Hacking Database. There's a lot of other things you can look for, obviously. I just looked for uh, one specific criteria here. Uh, the other thing I wanna show you real briefly is the uh, cheat sheet. So here's a guide, I'll, I'll put this link beneath the video as well. But this shows the different operators we used file type right here. We used uh, site as well, right there. So it just shows you what these operators do and you can really come up with any type of search you want to using these operators. If you're doing a penetration test, this is useful to search for specific types of documents against your target or documents that have a specific phrase in there, or, or whatever your objective is, it's a useful way to grab intelligence from your target passively. So that's pretty much it. We went over these four areas, what Google Hacking is, how to manually do it, what the Google Hacking database is, and I went over a cheat sheet. I'll provide the links to anything we covered in this video beneath the video. If you have any questions, please leave the question. If you have any comments, please leave a comment. And if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Good luck with your Google hacking.